What's up guys, my name is Kush and in this video I will share uh, my solution on how I solved uh, the problem with DaVinci Resolve. The problem that I had was DaVinci Resolve was not opening and uh, I will uh, here is the time when you, uh, where you can go and watch the solution but if you want to, to know what I did before I chose uh, that solution that helped me just stay tuned and I will try to explain it to you as short as possible. What's up guys, my name is Kush and in this video I will share uh, my experience and I'll, I will try to help you with your problem, with the problem that you have with DaVinci Resolve. Most likely you are watching this video because your DaVinci Resolve is not opening and I had this problem uh, probably three years ago when I started using DaVinci Resolve. After a few months of using DaVinci, I, uh, I had a problem after Windows update my DaVinci Resolve uh, didn't open and I have a video about it I will leave it uh, I will leave it uh, down below in the description maybe it will help you if you didn't watch it so basically what I did was I, uh, I updated my Intel graphic uh, display or graphic center uh, driver and after updating it uh, DaVinci Resolve started working again and there was no problem about it and I uh, uh, after maybe nine months of using DaVinci Resolve again, uh, I had the same problem. DaVinci Resolve didn't open, and uh, I uh, searched online. I did everything I could. I searched on Google, on YouTube. I uh, watched uh, all the videos that that uh, were available on YouTube, and I couldn't find any solution. I uh, even contacted the DaVinci uh, Blackmagic Studio. No, Blackmagic Design. Yeah, I contacted Blackmagic Design and uh, they told me that you are using free version of DaVinci Resolve and we cannot help you. And yes, I was using free version of DaVinci Resolve 16. I think around eight or nine months, I, uh, I was not able to use DaVinci Resolve and uh, to do my, my workflow, uh, to do my uh, videos, editing videos, I uh, downloaded a short shortcut, uh, another uh, application for video editing uh, apl application, and uh, it is pretty good, but it's a little bit complicated. Uh, you have it has uh, its its uh, pros and cons, but I really wanted to use DaVinci Resolve again because I got used to DaVinci Resolve, and DaVinci Resolve, in my opinion, is one of the best. Uh, video editing software that you can you can find and also what I did was I purchased DaVinci Resolve Studio and the interesting part about uh, studio, DaVinci Resolve Studio is that I found a pretty good offer on uh, bnh.com and uh, I'll go uh, ahead and tell you that it did not help me I installed DaVinci Resolve Studio it did not help me it, it still didn't open and a few a few words about that offer it in my, uh, I, th I think it is still available on bnh.com where the 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 price for the venture resolve studio is 295 dollars and uh, the offer that I had was for 295 dollars you can get uh, the venture the resolve speed editor this one alone cost $295 and the DaVinci Resolve Studio cost $295 and that offer uh, offers you to get DaVinci Resolve Studio with this uh, speed error editor for, uh, for only $295 and it was no brainer for me I purchased it it looks really beautiful and uh, you will in this offer you will get this uh, envelope where you will have your DaVinci Resolve where you will have DaVinci Resolve uh, activation key right here and uh, when DaVinci Resolve 18, 19, 20 all those updates when they come you can still uh, upgrade it you will, st you, will use, you will be able to use DaVinci Resolve Studio basically forever and I think a maximum of two uh, PC you, you can use for two different uh, laptops but if you want to use for the for the third one, you have to deactivate the the, the first laptop. And also, uh, this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful things. 
C speed error editor. Uh, yeah, I didn't use it a lot because maybe uh, three, four days ago, I, I was able to, to, to be able to use DaVinci Resolve again. So here, here is the solution that I had. So the solution that I had was to uninstall, uninstall Windows 10 and install new Windows 10. And uh, the, the Windows that I had came with the laptop that I bought. I didn't purchase separately. But this uh, new Windows 10, I uh, downloaded from uh, Windows.com and uh, I bought activation key from, from, other, um, from other website, Russian website, that the prices are pretty cheap and I will share it with you guys right now. This is how it looks like. It's called intershop.net. I will leave the link below. You just click it and it will bring you here where you can see all the windows that are available. There are Windows 10 Enterprise, Windows 10 Home, Professional, Enterprise 2016, Enterprise LTSC, I don't know what that is, but uh, what I bought was Windows, Windows 10 Home. What you do is you just click buy, it will bring you right here, and it costs around $10, $10 for Windows, that's crazy. Really, really, really cheap. If you if you search online, let, let's go on Google, Windows 10 Home Buy. And you can see it costs like um, $45, $34. In some places it goes even uh, $100. And in this, in this uh, website, you can buy it for $10 which is pretty cheap when, uh, when you buy it you will receive on your email you will receive uh, uh, activation key and uh, there is a really good video about how to uh, download Windows put it in your USB drive then then install it in your laptop I will leave that video in the description because it helped me and uh, if you will if you want to go through this process it will help you a lot too and uh, another thing about this particular website where you can even go to uh, antivirus uh, the antivirus that I use is uh, Kaspersky total security and you can even buy here as you can see like $14 for, for the whole year maybe it will be help you, helpful for you and uh, after that I uh, installed my new Windows 10 I went through all the process that the video that's already on YouTube, the guy that hel helped me with his video and it helped me pretty much. So we come here, I installed DaVinci Resolve 16, not 17 because my laptop is not as powerful, pow powerful. so I installed DaVinci Resolve uh, 16, DaVinci Resolve Studio. As I said, I, uh, I have studio version of it that I bought. And we go here, we click and uh, one, two, three, DaVinci Resolve Studio 16 is, uh, is opening. And uh, I already did uh, two, I already edited two videos on this DaVinci uh, Resolve Studio. It works pretty well. My, as I said, my laptop is not that powerful so that it, it works smoothly, but it works pretty well. So you just take your, I just take my time and I, I do it no problem. And we come open, boom, media, edit, color grading. I don't use uh, Fusion because my laptop is not uh, strong enough. And uh, Fairlight delivery. So basically everything is working now. And uh, let's summarize. Everything that I did didn't help me. The only thing that I that helped me, I uninstalled my uh, pre previous Windows 10 that I had, and I installed a new one. And installed a new one from uh, the official website of uh, Windows.com, and it helped me. Maybe this is not something that you want to do, but personally, the Venture Resolve was uh, really important for me, and uh, I did it. I hope that this video was helpful. If it was, 
give it a thumbs up it will help uh, me and my channel to grow and thank you very much see you next video bye